Hey, it's Jessica, and I'm here with my pigs, and this is the second part of my Q&A, so I'm going to be answering all your questions. I don't know what they're doing. Now they're thinking they're getting something, because, you know, they usually do when I'm over here. Daisy's still over there. <laughs> You're not coming out, Daisy? So I was going to do this video with Pat, but then I had to work till 3, and Pat started work at 3, so that's not going to happen. He's at work. So, doing this by myself. But yeah, I was going to get him to do it with me, and because I figured he could answer some of it with me. But I, like I could have done it tomorrow on Sunday with him, but I didn't feel like pushing it back, because I did say we were going to, I did say in my, my description I was going to do it. Saturday. So, first questions. Everybody, people didn't ask one question. Everybody asked a bunch of questions. So this is from Piggy Pro One Two Three. How many pets have you owned? Um, I have no idea. We'll start from the start and go up. Um, my first dog. I was six, and that was her name was Millie. And my parents, we basically rescued her because I guess it's hard for me to remember the whole story. If I was a kid, so I probably didn't even hear the whole story. My parents, my dad ended up like having a friend or something that knew somebody else that said, yeah, there was these two dogs that his friend's friend needed to get rid of. So we went to see them. And then the one that, the one dog that he kept on seeing was the good dog was the one that was like clearly awful. Like it was not friendly at all. And then the one dog he said was bad was the one that we took, which was Millie, and she was the sweetest thing. Um, we think he abused her, because she used to always run away, he said. And, and so, God knows what she ate. So she probably ate a lot of garbage and stuff. So she wasn't in the best of shape. So She came to live with us, and she never did end up liking really, like, really, really good dog food. I think she ended up eating one of like the crappier brands of dog food, but my parents said it was because she wouldn't like, she would literally not eat anything better. And it was probably because of all the garbage she ate and whatever he fed her. But yeah, this man. Like, even, like, I remember going when I was a kid while well, we picked up Millie, and I even remember, like, not liking this man. And there was no reason. It was just, like, I guess the feel. You know, kids, when you're a kid, you get that feeling, like, I don't like this person. I kind of had that. So we took Millie. And then, for whatever reason, my grandmother kept on buying us birds. So we had a lot of birds when I was a kid. We had a parrot at one point. We had a couple of cockatiels. We had two budgies. One was, I named one Chi Chi. So my dad named the other one Chong, <laughs> which will be funny to some of you. And then we had a cockatiel named Jesse. We had a male and a female. And then the female, they, have, they were like living together. And then Jesse kept on trying to mate with the female. I can't remember what we named her. So the female kind of beat him up the one night. Like we woke up in the morning and there was kind of blood in the cage. <laughs> but it ended up being okay. And. I think we ended up getting rid of both of them, but my dad says he always regrets getting rid of Je uh, Jesse because he was a pretty smart cockatiel. The parrot was annoying. He was too smart. He used to be able to get out of his cage and like fly around the house and destroy stuff. Like He'd destroy bindings on books, on shelves, uh, the buttons on remotes, gone. Like He just <laughs> completely, like I don't really like birds. <laughs> Let's just say that. I like other people's birds because I don't have to deal with them, but I don't like birds. So we had a whole bunch of birds, um, and then I did have a guinea pig when I was younger, like nine, and her name was Cinnamon, and she was um, a long-haired, kind of like Lily, but she was like brown, and she had white, and I think she had a little bit of red, and I think that's why I named her Cinnamon. And I had her for, I can't remember how long I had her for, but I remember this was when Millie was like 12, or so forth, and we knew that she would end up not be with us for longer, because she was getting kind of sick. And she was throwing up a lot, and she wasn't even like. When it got to the point where she wasn't even holding down water, is when my we ended up putting her down, because obviously there's something wrong if you can't even hold down water. What are they chewing on? Oh, they took off that whole piece. Wow. All right, you can chew on that. Is that what's on your face, Lily? So yeah, we had, and by the end, around that time, my grandmother got us a puppy, which is Molly. So we had Molly and Millie for a short time together until we put we had to put down Millie and then we just had Molly who was it looked like her daughter. Like it really did. They were the same type of dog. They were black terry poos. So that Millie and uh, Molly ended up being smaller, like way smaller. 
I'm not as smart. Millie was really smart. And then later, my grandmother had a dog, which was the last Abso named Jacob. And when my grandmother died, we took Jacob because she wouldn't even get the dog. Like she made my dad promise that if she gets a dog and if she dies before like the dog dies, which probably obviously happened because she was in her 70s, that my dad would take the dog. So we had Jacob until he was around like 12. And he was kind of crazy. Lassa. He was like a stereotypical Lassa app, app, so he was not really a good dog. He wasn't trained. We had to do what we could with him once we got him, and he was just kind of... He, he always was just a little loopy. And when he was getting older, my parents said he was getting worse. He was starting to like bite people for no reason and stuff. So we had... We had three dogs. One guinea pig when I was younger. A bunch of birds. And then... I've had hamsters before, dwarfs and Syrians, and now I have my guinea pigs again. Four of them. Oh, and we have two cats, obviously, now. I've had two cats for a while now. Basically the whole lives. So I've had Fry and Bender, and Fry is seven and Bender six. So You can count that up, because I'm not counting that. I've got my tablet with me here. I'm trying to look at the questions. If you could have any pet, what would you have? This is still from Piggy Pro. Um, probably guinea pigs. That's what I wanted. Like, when I had a whole bunch of hamsters, I wanted, I still wanted guinea pigs. So. And cats. I think I'm always going to have cats. I like cats. I'm not really into dogs anymore just because I don't want to put in, like, the work. <laughs> I'm lazy. Well, it's better than being lazy and still getting a dog. I don't want to have to walk it. And I really don't like people who don't walk their dogs. Especially people who get big dogs. Like, I hate when people buy a husky and, and they don't walk it. You're just like, it's a husky, it needs to be walked. A lot. It needs to run. Even if you have a big backyard, it's like you still should walk it around. You know what I mean? So if I don't feel like, that's why we got cats. We didn't, we didn't want to walk anything. And we got Bender and Fry when we were living in an apartment. And I don't really like people who have big dogs in apartments either. Because I don't think that's right. It was like a one bedroom apartment. It was tiny. So, how many guinea pigs have you owned? Um, five. These four, and then the one that I had when I was younger, which was never taken care of properly. And really not my fault. Because <laughs> I was like nine, and I don't think people knew back then how to take care of guinea pigs properly. Like, I don't think we had hay, ever. And she was in a really small cage. I remember having plain pellets. She had plain pellets. And she occasionally got vegetables, but not every day. I'll tell you that. And that's all I remember. <laughs> So it's kind of unfortunate. Um, what is your favorite color? Usually blue. But I do like red. Um, what is your favorite dessert? Anything chocolate? Because I like chocolate. Especially if it's like chocolate cheesecake. Or any cake. What are you doing? If you won 10,000, what would you do with it? Um, unfortunately, my answer is probably going to be a little boring because I'm older. I'm not a kid who's going to, like, you know, I'm mad, like, think up stuff. 10000 is really not as much as you think. <laughs> so I'd be paying off, because I still have a student loan that I need to pay off. I'd be paying that off and then just probably banking it. Really. I wouldn't be doing much with it. You can't really you can't buy a house for $10,000. Do you do any sports? No. I've never been into sports. I always hated gym class. I didn't mind the exercise, like, because when I was in gym class, they would occasionally, for a month or two, have, like, health, and they would do, like, just exercising, like, aerobics and stuff. That I never minded. It's the actual sports that they made you do that I hated. And that's all the questions from her. So now I'm on to Emily Perkinson. Why, why did you have four guinea pigs? I think you mean, why do you have four guinea pigs? Um... I don't know, it just kind of happened. I got Trixie, and you need more, you should have more than one if you know anything about guinea pigs. They like, they're herd animals. So I had Trixie and Abby first that I got off of a woman from Kijiji. She had an ad placed up for them. And then we found, and Pat fell in love with Daisy at the store, and unfortunately. We bought her, we bought her and Lily. We didn't adopt. But in this town, it's really hard to adopt anyways. They do occasionally, the local SPCA occasionally has guinea pigs up for adoption, but not a lot. So we ended up, Pat ended up falling in love with Daisy because she weaked at him. Like, the second he walked by her, she was like, weak, 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 and she was so small because she was like a month old, a little over a month, she was tiny. 
So he fell in love with her, and we had to get her. And then I fell in love with Lily because I really liked her color. Look at her head. Look, look at this. I need to fill up their hay bags. I didn't do it this morning, thinking Pat would do it, and he didn't do it. He vacuumed for me. He fed them their veggies, but he didn't fill up their hay bag. So that's why their hay bags look so pathetic. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll do that after this video. But yeah, that's why I have four guinea pigs. They all get along, so it's great. Any more questions? Where's your favorite places to buy the guinea pig cozy items from? My favorite place is Piggy Pop Shop, because her prices are good, the shipping price is even good and fast. Um, where else have I bought? I do have one Piggy Pig's item over there, but that's like, it's kind of to me, it's like a special thing, because it's so expensive since I live in Canada, to buy like the, sh the shipping really that kills you. It's like I'm getting something from Squeak Dreams, and that shipping was $30. That's Canadian. I can't. I don't know what it was in pounds. And it's only two items. I'm getting a tunnel and a lap pad. But it's like the biggest lap pad she makes. Um, what else did you ask? If you could have more piggies, would you? Um, if I had room for a bigger cage, I probably would. But in this size cage, I think four is enough. Because I know how much they pee. <laughs> I know some people would put more in this size cage, but I personally think... It's just enough. Camera keeps focusing and unfocusing, and I think there's glare on the lens. I don't know. Um, what guinea pig food do you feed your piggies? I have just switched over to the Living World Green pellets. So I can actually. I don't really want to put my tablet down here, but I am, anyways. I can show you the pellets. It's my shop bag. I have some okay, this is a treat. This is the pellets I feed. I made a whole video about pellets, I think, so you can always look at that. But there's the ones I feed. Adult guinea pig food. Oh, what else did you ask? Here's my tablet. It's my own video here I'm looking at. What is a guinea pig diet made up of? 80% um, hay, 15% vegetables, and 5% pellets. There's your specific answer. <laughs> so yes, you need limited long stringed long grass hay. So it could be orchard grass, it could be timothy, it could be bluegrass. If you have babies, you can use alfalfa. And then you definitely need vegetables every day. Lettuce, green pepper is really good. And then you need plain pellets, nothing colored, nothing with seeds. They're not hamsters. And I think that was it for her. Yes. Now we're on to Bailey Carson. Would you ever get a rabbit? No. Um, rabbits have never interested me as a pet. Like, I love rabbits. I think they're cute. There's, I think I've said this before, there's, um, when we walk to Walmart, there's a little neighborhood we have to go through, and there's always wild rabbits out. Obviously not now, because it's winter. And, uh, yeah. I try to get close to them, but they're, like, they're wild. Like, they don't really let you go close. Even the one day when I had a piece of lettuce out because I was buying like piggies or vegetables. So I took out a piece of lettuce and I was like, here, he was chewing on, he was eating leaves. And I was like, you have a piece of lettuce. And he ran away, so I ended up just leaving it on the ground and hopefully he got it. <laughs> but yeah, just, they take up a lot of, and they like, they need a lot of space. And I think if I did ever have a rabbit, I would let it just, I think I'd let it free roam. Just let it out. Because they can usually be very easily potty trained. Uh, second question from her. What is your favorite thing about guinea pigs? Um, I think that they can live in, like, they need to be live, like living in a herd. It's the one thing I don't really like about hamsters. Like, I love hamsters, but, like, you can't put them together. Well, here I can have one big cage, and they're all together, and you can see them interact, even when they're kind of rumbling and not getting along so much. You know, it's still fun. And they're bigger than a hamster. they they got more, a little bit more personality. My new people would probably argue with me about that. Um, last question from her. Will you always have some sort of small animal your whole life? Um, probably. Probably guinea pigs. I don't know so much about hamsters, but I, I just got a new one. If you're on my Facebook, I just got a new hamster, so... <laughs> I wasn't supposed to even, even Pat told me a while ago, he's like, no more hamsters. And then, she happened. Or, I'm calling it a she. Might not be. I'm thinking. How much water they drank? This one's empty. So I'm gonna fill these up. I give them hay. I think I get the vegetables soon too, actually. So 
The freaking tablet keeps turning itself off. Mm, now we're on Sherwood Small Pets. Um, cool, you mentioned that you're from Canada. Me too. Which stores in the store and online are your favorites? Um, <laughs> I don't really understand the Z store. I think you meant actual stores, I guess. Um, I live in a really small town, so actual stores really suck. I have a Pet Value and I have a local store. Pet Value has some things that the local store has. The local store has things the Pet Value doesn't have. So that's kind of cool. At least I can get, you know, have two places I can kind of get stuff. But they don't have a lot. So when I go to the city, I do like to go to PetSmart just because they're bigger. But even then, PetSmart, I don't find that good either. I wish we had a Petco. But we don't. So, but my online, online obviously, I like Piggy Pop Shop. Um, I buy from Canadian Pet Connection is where I get my hay from. And they, they can sell other stuff too. It's also where I get my hamster food. I don't really shop in Montreal Critters anymore. Because their shipping can be a little, like they have a flat fee of shipping of nine ninety nine, Which can be good if you're buying something really, that you know would be really expensive. Like, so, then you'll have nine ninety nine of shipping. But the Canadian Pet Connection, actually they have really... They have really cheap shipping too. I can buy 18 pounds of hay, and the shipping's like 12 bucks. And the hay is really cheap because I'm getting it. It's like a clear out price that they've had for like six months now. It's like, are they ever gonna end it? Are they trying to get get rid of their stock? If they if they if so, they have a lot of stock. So whenever they're out, then I might be switching hay just because I'm trying to buy the cheapest possible. I actually might end up going to my pet value. And asking them to order me big boxes of Oxbow. Because they don't keep it in store, obviously. But I know, I think Skinny Pigs has mentioned it, that's, that's what she does. She goes to her local pet value, and they order her specifically like fifty, like a 50 pound box. I don't think I could fit 50 pound box here, but I think I could get the 25 pound box. This camera's all fuzzy. It's making me angry. Who am I missing? Oh, you're still there. You still eating? You got hair on your face. You got hair on your face, cutie. Mmm. We have this, this is a um, screen that you use on Windows. We put this up just because we were trying to keep the hay in. It kind of worked. I can't remember what the question was. Oh yeah, what's your favorite store? Um, I haven't shopped at Bobby's Bunny Boutique yet, but that looks really interesting, especially now that I have a new hamster. So, we buy stuff from there. But Piggy Pop Shop's my all-time favorite, just because I can get everything from her. Like, this whole cage is from her, basically. So for these curtains, because I don't have her curtains up right now. Who else do I have? Rainbow Cavi. She has five questions. What type of hay do you feed your piggies? Um, I feed orchard grass, and right now it's the JoJo's Best orchard grass. How do you come up with their names? Um, if you watched my video of me bringing Trixie and Abby home, I named them right on camera. I ended up naming Abby the black one Abby because I had a hamster that I named Abby for a day until I realized the hamster was a boy and I really liked that name so I was like oh and she's black too so I was like I'm gonna name you Abby and then Trixie just came to me and um Pat named Daisy at first she her name was Jude because we thought it might be a boy until it took her like a week and I finally confirmed with somebody actually was um There's somebody that was on the forum with too that um, helped me confirm her sex. And when I said she was a girl, I told Pat, well, since you know you picked her, pick her female name. And he came up with Daisy. And then when we bought Lily, it took me a few days to finally pick it because I wanted something that kind of rhymed. Like they all have like Trix E, Lil E, Daisy, Ab, you know, they all have like that type of thing. And then I was like, why don't we just do another flower type name because of Daisy? Because they, they two were kind of partners at first. So, I decided with Lily. <laughs> mm, what else do we got here? How long have you been owning guinea pigs for? Um, a year. Boxing Day was when I first got um, Abby and Trixie. Boxing Day, it's really weird. You think it would be a weird day to pick up an animal if you think people would be busy, but no, I picked them up on Boxing Day. Don't chew. Look at what they've done to this. Don't chew. I can't stop you right now, though. How did you get your piggies? Um, Trixie, like I said, Trixie and Abby. 
I wanted guinea pigs and I kept on looking on Kijiji because I didn't want to buy them. <laughs> and then I ended up buying two anyways. So yeah, Trixie and Abby I didn't buy. I actually did uh, find off Kijiji. Somebody was rehoming them, but I did end up buying Lily and Daisy from my local pet store. I got Daisy first and then I got Lily. How do you feel about all boar herds? Um, I'm fine with all boar herds, other than I know boars don't usually get along. And I know it's hard to find a, like a big herd of boys. Usually you can only get like a pair of boys that get along. You have to have like a really big cage for like a herd. So the only reason why I didn't get boys, like I specifically wanted girls just because I found out about their grease glands. I found about the boar glue that would end up going on stuff and how hard it is to take off. And I was just like, I don't want to deal with that. And just like their anal sacs, you have to like make sure their anal sacs are clean. And I was like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so I got girls. And then I also found out how girls are easier to like, usually easier to get along with. You know, there are some very bossy females. So I ended up making sure I had two girls. And then once I had two girls, I wanted more girls because I didn't, you know, I don't have the space to have two separate cages. And I got lucky that Daisy and Lily were female. Mind you, I sexed Lily at the store before I bought her. They let me pick her up and I sexed her. And since she was a little bit bigger, she was easy to sex. Since I went through with dealing dealing with how to sex Daisy, I knew that the second I flipped over Lily, I was like, oh, she looks identical to Daisy. So, okay, it's a female. So we would have had a problem if Daisy was a male. Because I don't know what I would have done. Because I already had looked around to getting like a neuter done and there's no, there's no vets who know how to do that confident like that I trust but yeah I think all boar herds are you know if you can do it that's great and then now from the Wagor Zoo have you ever taken your girls outside in springtime do they get floor time um they've never been outside I wanted to do it last year and then I ended up not doing it because I didn't want them getting like fleas or something like it's, I just didn't want anything happening to them. Um, they do get floor time, but it's rare, just because it's a pain in the butt to get them all out at the same time. And my cage is so big they don't technically need it, but they do get it occasionally. And they pee everywhere too. The last time we took them all out, we brought them downstairs in the living room, which is not fully carpeted, but there's a lot of carpet, and they ended up, like one of them ended up peeing on the carpet. <laughs> and I know a lot of people are like, well, they don't pee a lot. Mine pee like a river. <laughs> it's kind of gross. So, they're definitely, they're not like those pigs that you, a lot of people are like, oh, my pigs know that when it's floor time they don't pee. Mine don't care. So. This is staying away. She's getting back there in her pig loop. This thing's a hit, and I didn't think they'd, I honestly didn't think they'd like this mat this much. And they love it. But I think they love it when they're running out of pain and stuff. <laughs> they don't have much else to chew on, but that's fine. I think I might, when this mat goes, buy them an oxbow mat. Because I can't get the Super Pet Mat. mat. Uh, Matt. My pet value sells Oxbow Matt. They don't sell this one. So, this video is going to be so long. This is kind of why I wanted Pat here. Mind you, if Pat was here, it would kind of probably be longer. And so many people ask so many questions. That's insane. Finally, Carrie's Little Piggies. Let's see what she asks. Who's my favorite piggy? Um, I switch sometimes. Ultimately, I think it's Trixie. I think, until she does something silly. And I know she's not technically the best looking piggy, but it's her like derpy little face. I mean, she's not gonna look up, so you can have a little derpy little look. That's not good for you. Who's her derpy little look? She always has like this derp look on her face. Her eyes. One eye goes one way, one eye goes the other way. It's hilarious. And second to Trixie is Lily. Because she's booful. And Pat's is obviously Daisy. That's why I wanted Pat here, because I figured he'd chime in. Um, describe each of my piggy's personalities. Um, I always consider Trixie the boss, even though I'm still not sure who is, but I still think ultimately it's Trixie. She's also the one that weighs the most, so you know she's getting more food. Um, at first I thought Abby might have been uh, one of the bosses as well, but not really. I've seen, actually this morning Lily was mounting Abby, surprisingly enough. She just kind of, they kind of ran away, but she didn't really Fight back. 
Um, Personality-wise, Abby's kind of like the loner pig. She def she's the hardest one to pick up. She doesn't like being bothered. She reminds me of like an old grumpy woman. Hmm? An old grumpy woman? That's your personality. Lily's the airhead, like just straight out. She's so silly sometimes. Like, if you watch my videos, when she got her head stuck in that egg, that was ridiculous. Um, the point of her treats and she drops them immediately. She's just silly stuff. And Daisy is becoming quite shy, but she's off but she's very jumpy. Like she'll do she'll popcorn the most. I used to call her the popcorn queen. Her and Lily actually still do it quite a lot. I guess that's her personality, I'm not too good at this. Well, did you ask? What do I like best least about having piggies? Um, best is how cute they are and how cute I can have their cage and how they run around and weak. I like all of it. The only thing I don't like is then them peeing on the cage and having to wash all their liners. Well, you know, typical work. <laughs> That'd be about How did you get hay on your head? That'd be about it. And how did I get started on YouTube? Um. Basically, when I wanted my when I first wanted to get a hamster, I was looking up hamster videos, and then I started watching also guinea pig videos, and I just ended up making my own video. And it's like if you look back, my first video is still up. It's just a video of me showing my two hamsters at the time, which is Ella and Boo. I think it's like introducing Ella and Boo, and I just started from there making hamster videos. I think there's a whole, like, a year's worth of just hamster videos, if you ever want to check them out. And now uh, i got questions from Beth Phillips. Why doesn't Pat... Why doesn't Pat take part in your videos? I think it would be cool to see you and Pat videos more often. I was gonna say, he has been in my videos. And I, that's, I, that's another reason why I wanted him in here now, because you asked that question. But he's at work. Um, to be honest, occasionally I just want to get my point across and I want to do it my way and I don't want him I don't want him chiming in sometimes and that's why I wait till he's at work to make videos sometimes I wait today was just unfortunate when I actually wanted him to do it because sometimes he'll end up saying stuff I don't want him to say on video either and uh, you don't know because I'm not gonna fight with him on camera <laughs> but yeah there's been some videos where I'm just like shut up I'm just like shut up. like I didn't want you asking that question or something you know what I mean like I have there's some videos where I have a goal in mind and him ha and having him like chime off stuff just won't work. Just like, I'm sure he feels the same way about me sometimes. Cause that's why with his videos, if you ever watch his channel, I'm always the I'm usually always videotaping for him. If he's like needs both hands, and sometimes I try to shut up completely and just let him go. Even if even if I don't agree with what he's saying, I'll just shut up and let him it's his video. But then he'll ask me a question and bring me into it. So if you want to see us more together. I'm in his more I'm in his videos more than he's in my videos. Which is kinda of funny. Hmm, yeah, you got more questions. This video's gonna be like an hour long. Hmm. Already half an hour. You and Pat, what's y'all's story? Y'all. You're so silly, Beth. <laughs> I'm Canadian, we don't say y'all. Um, actually I'm sure somebody does. Nobody I know says it. <laughs> um we dated when I was 17 and he was 19 for a month, which is kind of funny. It's funny because he broke up with me, but the re he had a good reason. Like, it wasn't like, oh my god, we dated for a month. I was like, okay, you know, cool. He was moving to Sudbury because he was getting a job there, so obviously we had to break up. And I was like, alright, whatever. And then he ended up coming back because it, like, fell through. Like, he was supposed to be there for, like, a year. He ended up coming back after a few months and asked me out again, and I said no. So I was like, because I, I warned him before, I was like, I'm not one of those chicks who are like, we're dating, then we're not dating, we're dating, and then we're not dating. So we didn't go for like a long time. Like a long time, like, until I was in college. Because what happened was I ended up getting like a random email from him when he was in, when I was in college. Cause I didn't have a computer when I was, went to college, I had to use a school computer. So I was checking my emails at school and I ended up getting like a random email from him that was like, um, a family member died. And I was like, okay, and I gave him my phone number in case he wanted to talk or whatever. And, um... Cause it was a family member I did meet once though, so I don't have any like, stories about him. So he ended up calling me, but he ended up calling me like daily for like a month. And then he finally came to town.
because I moved out of Ottawa because I'm from Ottawa, Ontario. I moved out of Ottawa to go to college and stuff because my parents moved out also and I didn't want to stay in Ottawa by myself. But he, So he came up to where I moved to from Ottawa which wasn't that far. So yeah and then we just started dating again and that was back when I was like 21. And we've been dating since I've been tw I was 21 and I'm 29 now. Oh no, I started this video. Shh. Um, what else? Why don't you do a room tour? Because my room's a mess. I would have just, I would have gave you a short room tour today, but, um, my camera is, oh, my camera. My, like, yeah, my room's literally a mess. Pat decided to do stuff because we bought a shelving unit to help with space and he left everything on the ground. So now I'm not doing it. So maybe I'll do it later. I don't think anybody cares. It's just a room. It's just got a bed and poop in it. Not literally, but you know. Do you test products for Living Rope? Or do you just buy a lot of their products and do reviews on them? Um, okay, here's the deal with the Living World stuff. And I didn't know whether or not they wanted people saying, like, telling this. But Living World ended up sending a box of, like, samples to me, Budget Bunny, Skinny Pig's got a box. Um, the Hamster Ninja got a box. A couple of other people did too, and I didn't even realize. But I found them on, I found some of their videos, and I didn't even realize that they were also part of the uh, sampling. And, because uh, what happened was, I ended up, they ended up getting their boxes of stuff, and then when Living World saw my first review of just their salad, like, I just did that. I just, I saw their line out of stuff, because my local pet store has all hanging products. Like, they're really, like, a hanging rep even goes to my local pet store all the time to sell him stuff. So for, a f so, my pet store, my local pet store manager, like, I, well, not even the manager, the owner itself, we always talk to the owner, and he said he didn't even really want the Loon World Green stuff in his store, like, not all of it, because some of it's fairly expensive, and he thought uh, people wouldn't buy it, because we're in a small town. And he did it as a favor for the Hagen rep of his, because she's a friend of his. So he brought in everything. Literally, he had everything. So I ended up buying just one of the salads, and I made a video about that. It's when they ate the strawberry and marigold salad. And I sent the link to uh, Living World. They're like their Facebook or something. And they were like, oh, cool. And then I ended up talking, sending, like getting a private message from them on Facebook. And they're like, give me your address, and we'll send you some samples. And I was like, sweet. So I ended up getting a small box of samples. I didn't get as much stuff as some other people did, which is fine, because some of the stuff they got I wouldn't have used. Plus some, plus they got, like, rabbit stuff, and I only had guinea pigs. Well, I have hamsters, but I don't think they knew that. So I ended up getting a box of stuff. And then I just, like, they didn't even really, like, push to make reviews. They were just like, if you want to make reviews or, like, talk about it, then go ahead. So I have made reviews about, I think I made, re I made a review on it, everything they, they gave me. I ended up getting a salad from them in the box. I ended up getting the treat holder, the treats, the seagrass game that Lily got her head stuck in, um, which I don't have anymore because that day, since I left it in their cage for so long, apparently my camera turned off. I don't know what it's talking about. Apparently, maximum time. That was weird. So, yeah, so apparently. Yeah, so I threw out the seagrass thing just because they peed on it and smelled, not because her, her head got stuck. You just shouldn't leave those type of things in the cage like I did. Like, I went to work and left it in the cage. So that was my fault. More than theirs. But I still just didn't want to use it because it stunk. So I threw it out. But I still have their treats, and I've switched to their food just because it is better than what I was selling before. And it is better. And then I ended up getting another little package of uh, nibblers and stuff, like the chews. Like some of these chews I got. Like this one I got for free that they've been chewing on. Because they sent out a Christmas package to the same people, which was pretty sweet. So it was it was very generous of them. The rep who did it was really it was really nice. And she just gave a bunch of people stuff just to, you know, it's good like marketing on them to get people to, you know, just speak the truth of their products and push their new line of stuff. And the stuff and most of the stuff is good. And like I said, since my local store sells all hag and stuff, that's why I buy it. It's readily available to me. I wouldn't buy anything that I don't personally think is good for my guinea pigs. That's why a couple of, I did end up getting a free treat from them that was one of the biscuit treats. And I never gave it to my guinea pigs, I gave it to my hamsters because it has egg in it. 
And I specifically said in the video, egg products are not good for guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are vegans, don't give it to them. So, you know what I mean? I'm not going to give it to them just because I got it for free from them. But it does say it's good for guinea pigs on it, but really it's not. Um, we gotta make this quick, this video is so long, but you guys asked all the questions, it's not my fault. Oh good, that was the last from her. <laughs> no offense, Beth. But I'm just trying to wrap up this video. Uh, Carrie added another question, because, you know, she liked to break the rules and ask more than, post more than once. But her last question was, when's the wedding? Um, we are engaged, me and Pat. I'm just not in a rush. I just don't see, like, like what's an actual wedding going to prove. Like, it's just a piece of paper. I don't even want a wedding. I'm not one of those girls who are like, I want my dream wedding, and la 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 la. Like, I just, I don't really care anymore about that stuff. I don't need a wedding. I'd rather just get, like, eloped, to be honest. Let's get her over and done with. So, yeah. There's my Q&A answers. They don't like the length of it. Well, stop asking questions. I'm actually glad that nobody else asked me questions. They knew this was going to run long. But yeah, so if you have any other questions or about anything, go ahead and ask. And this will be my long, crazy Saturday video. Thanks for watching. Bye.